morning guys welcome back to another youtube video so i got in last night from florida tommy headed to houston for a tournament i am sadly not going to be going to that tournament this year really needed to get home i have a lot to do here also tommy's clay court season is starting soon in europe so i'm going to be going with him to that so i'm in my closet room right now i had three suitcases to unpack this morning the amount of packages i have is insane I will show you guys. I'm going to do a whole PR unboxing for you guys on here. But so if I end up going to all those three weeks in Europe, I really wanted to be at home and getting as much stuff done as possible since I have brand relaunch. I have a photo shoot this week. A denim sample just came in the mail. Just a lot going on. I'm also going to run to our warehouse, make sure everything is good. So I thought I would vlog today for you guys. Also going to make time to head to the barn to see Louie. Um, so I had my mom come over to help me today. Normally Olivia would help me um, with this type of stuff and it's Sunday today so she's not working today. But my mom is super sweet and offered to come over and help. So my mom is helping me unpack hi guys i actually think that my truck is the sexiest car also guys the truck is an actual key ignition not press to start and i fucking love it so just going to run and grab a sandwich before i go to the barn um we're gonna take two separate cars my mom wants to come to the barn with me to see louie and say hi but I'm probably gonna go on a longer trail ride. I had an interview maybe a week ago now with this really sweet, nice girl. Their article is coming out soon, I think. Um, but a lot of the um, people I've spoke to recently it really has just felt like a really nice conversation. In the conversation with her, I was talking about how I left New York City and had kind of moved back to where I'm from and to kind of living the lifestyle that I grew up living. I grew up on a lot of land in Connecticut and then went to school in the mountains in Vermont. The move that I made leaving New York actually just felt like going back to who I really am and more of my roots and how I was raised, spending time outside and living a little bit of a slower paced life. I originally moved to New York seeking that and then I actually ended up realizing in my adult life that I wanted the opposite. I literally stay missing turns when I'm vlogging. <laughs> I've noticed that sometimes creators get put in a box. Obviously I got much more positive feedback and my content has done so well since leaving. And I got asked first, were you worried about making that adjustment and worried about if you would still be able to be a content creator? I knew that in me leaving, the content that I was creating was going to be more authentic and I was going to be a happier person, which would translate. And I think that I have luckily grown it's such an engaged, awesome group of people who followed me and were going to root for me wherever I ended up going. I'm a pretty intuitive person person and, and I feel like some of you guys are too like you can just feel when a content creator is especially with YouTube is really happy and is at peace people who have criticized any of my content or anything like that feel like a lot of times there's no room for creators to grow up and to evolve and to find themselves and to change their lifestyle and to change the pace. Another cool thing though recently is have been able to personally really look more at the positive side of things and focus on the amount of support I have and and the amount of amazing people who follow me and the amazing people that I've met. I feel like a few years ago the negative would feel so much louder and I just don't feel that way anymore. And again, even if you're not an influencer, I think that we all go through challenges. Like every chapter of our lives have challenges. And even if you're not an influencer, in general, learning how to, whatever it takes for you to get there, to learn how to focus on the positive, good things in your life. For me personally, and this is very personal, praying and being grateful and counting my blessings has been a major, part of me focusing on more of the positive in my life literally before I go to bed being thankful for everything and everyone in my life and everyone in my life being healthy and the success that I've had in my career and my amazing friends and my amazing boyfriend and also praying for and wishing the best for the people that are not nice to me and are negative honestly 
that has made such a big difference in my life. That might sound really hard for some of you to do. Uh, at one point that probably would have sounded really hard for me to do, but try it. And even if you don't believe in God, I think that you can do this and you can sit down before bed every night and make a list of the things that you're grateful for and that you're thankful for. And if you are constantly focusing on positive things in your life, that's gonna be at the forefront of your mind. Your anxiety and your doubts live in your body. I share this book on my story, The Body Keeps Score. It's quite a hard read. It has a lot of science in the book and it is really dense. Not only a hard read because of the context, but emotionally it is a really hard book, but it's an amazing book and it's one that has definitely affected and impacted my life. I would definitely recommend trying to get through it if you can. My friend who I grew up with is a therapist and recommends it to all of her clients. Our body is listening to us. You can't hate yourself into loving yourself and I do believe the body keeps score. Being positive to yourself, to your body, to your life, counting your blessing. But yeah, it's my little talk of the day with you guys. I also get a bunch of DMs asking about my podcast and if I would ever bring that back. As a content creator, I kind of, wanted to try everything. I would be doing myself a disservice by not trying all the platforms, trying my best at the platforms and then seeing what I like best and seeing what makes me the happiest. I did really like doing the podcasts, but it didn't feel like at this moment the right fit for me. I feel like YouTube suits my lifestyle right now more. I made a video about why I kind of came back to posting consistently on YouTube, but Part of the reason being that I'm just traveling so much and I have a boyfriend who is so supportive of me vlogging and sharing bits of our life and I kind of wanted to create a digital journal again. I wasn't really in a safe enough space before to be on YouTube. Um, I kind of quit YouTube because I'm not feeling supported and not feeling safe and not feeling very good and I think that it's quite hard to get on YouTube and to be in front of the camera so often when you're just not feeling fully like yourself and not feeling fully good. So I took some time and I feel like I came back very ready to create content and be back on YouTube. And this right now, YouTube feels like the platform that I should be and will be focusing on the most. And, and the podcast has been put on the back burner, but I'm not completely like bagging it. I just think right now, YouTube is what I should be focusing on. And honestly guys, I spend like upwards of three to four hours editing each video, not to mention just filming all the time. I am a full-time content creator on Instagram and TikTok, um, and I have a brand. So it's just not really in the cards for me right now. Thank you to those who understand that um, I'm gonna take a break on the podcast, and I hope that I can add segments to my vlogs of us talking and giving you guys advice and doing enough Q and A's each month where you guys feel like satisfied in that way. Okay, I just got to the cute little market near my barn. I'm gonna go get some food with my mom before I ride. This is the bomb grilled cheese. It is. Oh my god. Big and like, cheese. It's like ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. so good. It's really good. Wow. Right? Like Not ridiculously good. Of course. So that's 10 of the donated. So oh, cute. Wow, good job. <laughs> wow, high five. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, of course. Bye, guys. Perfect. Amazing. Thank you, guys. The cutest little girls were selling their Girl Scout cookies outside of the coffee shop. Love a girl hustle. They were so cute. I used to be a Girl Scout for a second. Mom, I don't want any. S'mores cookie. They've like totally revamped the cookies. They want to try a s'more one. Are huh? they good? I don't know. I've never had them. Okay, didn't love that cookie, but. <laughs> My mom just looked at me and goes, That ain't it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the thin mints. Ugh. I've bought in so far this season, like, Probably 40 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Mom, those were so bad. No, I don't want more cookies. I love you. Ah! My mom pulled in before me and bought some cookies, and I just donated some money to them, but I didn't take any cookies. You can donate without taking cookies.
All right. We are back in the chair. He looks very dirty. Ah! Okay, just got back from the barn. My mom bought me this to help take off my boots because my boots are really hard, my cowboy boots. Really hard to take off. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Nance just, she always knows. But yeah, it's really hard to take these off when you're alone. <laughs> we'll link this on my Amazon storefront, although no one's probably gonna need that. But if you ride or wear a lot of boots, it's a need. Also guys, the amount of boots that I have at my house is obscene. is clean. I'm going to run to the market in the store now before it gets dark. All right guys, I'm gonna quickly make a grocery shopping list. Today is Sunday, so normally I would have more meetings. I try to have some work-life separation. It is quite hard with my job. Obviously, like I'm vlogging all day today and I shot some content today and also the people that we meet with and the brands that we meet with are manufacturers for Dairy Boy. And everyone that we have meetings with and work with um, doesn't work on the weekends. So I never have meetings really on the weekends. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, trying to make more time for myself and give myself the weekend so I don't feel fried. I know it might seem silly to some of you who think that influencers uh, don't really work. But believe me, it's work. It's definitely unique job and I'm very grateful for my job and there are so many amazing perks definitely have to work hard especially to the level at which I want to be creating content at and I want to continue to secure the amount of brand partners that I am also randomly before I head out to the market we are almost done with Dairy Boy's website and I just like literally am so excited to show you guys what we've come up with it is so exciting Okay, before I get sucked into my computer, I'm gonna run to the market. I'm trying to decide if I should make this vlog like a few days or I should just do it of my day today. Also, if you guys came over to my house, you would just see a bunch of tripods <laughs> everywhere, just like in the middle of the room. <laughs> also, actually, before I head out, I wanna show you guys the garden that is a part of my house. So I have this whole garden and it's all mine. And I have to start planning stuff soon. Um, so something that I really want to get good at and really get into. Okay, also I don't know why, but this car, my other car, always smells so good. Like for no reason. There's no air freshener in here. Anyways, I really want to get really good at gardening. My ideal life is to live on land that has 
want a greenhouse, which I do have a greenhouse. That's a whole nother story. And then to have a garden where I could basically have a salad and veggies every night with fresh produce. Doesn't that sound really great? I just finished up at the market. Something that I've been trying to do recently is not buy flowers from grocery stores. I do this all the time and it's really hard not to do when you just want to be done with your errands, but it's really good to support local florists. Fortunately, all the flower shops are closed because it's 6.30 on a Sunday. So I'm just gonna go tomorrow. from my office to my bedroom and I am designing right now the PR boxes that I'm gonna send out to influencers for my candle launch and for my whole rebrand. I am so excited. I also just designed some matches with the illustrations that my designer made. I think I'm going to include matches like these custom matches in the first 500 orders. I will insert them here. They're so, so cute. I just like can't wait to get them also just for myself. I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow too because it's Monday. It's gonna be a full work day. Olivia's coming over in the morning. We have a bunch to do and I have more organizing to do. So I think this vlog will be like two days of organizing and like days in my life. I'm gonna keep doing my computer stuff because I literally love I love this stuff. It makes me like so excited and happy, but yeah. Good morning. So I'm having one of those days where my makeup turns out creepy looking, but I had a really exciting meeting this morning and it has to do with my candles and my brand, so you guys will find out about that soon. Oh, also, I got asked yesterday on my Instagram, someone commented on a really old photo of me and was like, do you dye your eyebrows darker because your eyebrows look so light? Listen, guys, I used to fuck my eyebrows up so bad. I used to bleach them. Like, was I okay? I used to fucking bleach my eyebrows so they were blonder and they literally looked fucking orange. I also like completely changed the shape of my face. Like I feel like I looked like an alien when I did that. I literally had orange eyebrows. But some of my good friends were like, Paige, this is not cute. And I did not listen. And now I look back and I'm like, so this is my natural color of eyebrow. What I got going right now. And it is so much better. Don't know why I ever felt the need to change the natural color of my eyebrows, but also a little trick when I feel like my makeup has turned out weird. If you just put a fuck ton of blush, I feel like it helps. Wait guys, I kind of turned this around. Damn. I really did not see that coming. Ready to leave the house. I'm gonna step outside and this makeup's gonna look fucking crazy. Okay, I think I'm going to stay in my PJs and just put like a big jacket over my outfit. I always do that. Okay, so I've never really talked to you guys about how I organize my stuff in the different rooms of my house. So there are three bedrooms upstairs at my house and one of them is a guest room. And then I turned one bedroom into a full closet room, which you guys have seen. And then in my bedroom, I have four or like two closet so on this side this is all like my dresses more spring stuff i actually need to go through this closet i have like way too much stuff and then on this side is all of my jackets and not my ski jackets i have like an entire closet full of ski stuff and like ski outfits so today i'm wearing this vintage sweatshirt with like little plaid shorts so i was deciding between this vest which was a gift to me in this trench coat. The vest is like very spring. Let's try on both. This vest is so cute. Okay, I actually think this is really cute and I'm gonna wear a uh, pink Birkenstock and a pair of sunglasses. I don't think this looks any more presentable to be honest. I think the trench coat would have looked 
more presentable, but this is definitely more of a me outfit. I think I'm gonna zip it up. Okay, there's sunglasses in here. Okay. Well, that works out nicely. Success. What is it? I actually was not going to go to the barn today. Just because we have such a busy day today. And I rode for so long yesterday, but since we're so close, we're gonna go and say hi to Louis and maybe brush him a little bit. Like a candle, I just burn away. Okay guys, I'm now going to head to my dad's paddle tennis tournament. I don't know if you guys know what paddle tennis is, you'll see, but I'm gonna go surprise him. He doesn't know I'm coming, so. He's actually pretty good, apparently, so. Dad, I want an interview <laughs> after the win. I don't know how I'm gonna possibly go through all of this. First. I actually ordered these for myself. I went on a trip with L'Oreal to Paris and it was for this product and it is so good. Got one for my boyfriend and I got one for me. It is a metal detox. The whole line is really good by L'Oreal. So I actually ordered that myself. See chili crisps. Fly by Jing. I always appreciate cooking PR. Next is big package by MAC. That is so pretty, wow. Hyper real high performance skincare. Whoa. Okay, so pretty. Their new skincare. Ah! That is a serum package from Roval Vogue Eyewear. Pink on the inside. Cute. I already know who this is from. I somehow got on Ellen's PR list. <laughs> it's too good. They've been sending me packages for so long. Gardening stuff, some honey. Really, really cute. This says another Roval package. I didn't order anything from Roval, so it's probably just gifting. Revolve Maggie McDonald. One of my really good friends, Maggie McDonald, came out with a collection with Revolve. So happy for her. Really, really cool. Celso, Celsa Rose Tequila. Here's the tequila, really pretty. I'm gonna put it on my bar. You'd be really proud of me, guys. The other night, I went out to Remy's event, Remy's Don Julio event in Miami, and all my friends were there, and it was really fun, but I did not get really fucked up. I had like a three drink limit. Drink like mainly beer, honestly. Wasn't even hungover, I just woke up with anxiety, which is normal when I drink, but better than before. Mezcal, okay, another Amazon package. Normally, the Amazon packages are me. Things I buy for myself, but I'm gonna show it all. Oh, these I saw on TikTok. Um, they're lip stains, they're like lip jelly stains. Do you love that for me? I love that for you. Thank you. A lot of these packages are really sad looking because they were stuck out in the rain. Ooh, Steve Madden. I actually am shooting a campaign with Steve Madden soon. So this is probably for the ad that I have to shoot with Steve Madden. Working with Steve Madden is such a dream because one, I've been buying shoes from Steve Madden for forever. They're so affordable and cute, but they really let me pick the shoes I want to shoot in and what I'm feeling. You'll see these guys on Instagram soon. Okay, this is a very big box that says Fragile. Blake Lively came out with a uh, like a cocktail mixing drink thing called uh, Betty Buzz. Have you heard of that? Have yeah, no. She has, it started with like tonic and seltzer. So cute. So thoughtful of them to send me something. 
Whoa! Like, I'm trying to drink glass, and these companies are coming full force with the booze. I wish we put this on though. Any female starting a brand, I'm excited about it. Okay, next up is Set Active. It's a really cute box. I was like, this looks like a really old vintage. Cute! They sent me a new set, new workout set, and a pair of sunglasses. Okay, this is another me purchase. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted the Adidas Gazelles in the bubblegum pink. Um, and I ordered another pair. I couldn't help myself, and I saw they were like selling out online, so not a big red person. I just thought these were really cute. You guys probably know who Bridget is. Influencer and friend of mine who owns The Bar, and it's a brand, a clothing brand, and they just sent me... Oh my god, that's so sweet of them. I wear these sweatshirts all the time. So I can tell what this is because there's tape on it. Dermalogica. I use their daily micro exfoliant a lot. Micellar prebiotic pre-cleanse. Okay, this is an Amazon purchase. I never remember what I order on Amazon. Oh, one of those face ice things. I knew I did buy this. Um, you guys know, because if you've seen any of my recent makeup tutorials, I use the Graftopian HD Glamour Professional Makeup Palette. I love these palettes. They're super full coverage, but really creamy and pretty. I ordered the palette in the cool tone because I had the warm one. This was a really cute box that I just destroyed. Okay, they sent moisturizer and then this vitamin C. Shiseido. Sent a box. Whoa. Wait, that's so cute. Oh my god. How freaking cute are these? Wow. Is that in a Whole Foods gift card? What the heck? Every recipe needs fresh ingredients. Okay, well, this wins for today. Oh my god, they sent me a juicer and their vitamin C serum and sunscreen. And they sent plates and they also sent this recipe book. That is so thoughtful. There's a whole ass juicer. <gasps> Don't tell me it's Smeg. They sent me a Smeg juicer. No. Shiseido, I love you. Ah. Oh, boys lie. That's so cute. Boys lie just has the best stuff. Friend Emma started a brand, just launched her brand. I think what she did is super cool and different. The packaging is really well done. She did a really cool tape on the outside and then there's a big box in the box. This is so well done by her. So thoughtful and cute. She sent an apron for Tommy too. This cute candle. This looks handmade which is so cute. Not to mention her actual product looks really, really good. I'm really excited to try these.